In traditional shoulder shaping, stitches are bound off across the top edge of the shoulder on sequential rows, creating a stair step line. It can be difficult to make a neat job of seaming this shoulder line. Short row shaping provides the same slope, but creates an even line across the top edge to facilitate a neater finish. I'm going to demonstrate wrapping and turning, and then knitting in the wrap on the final row. I've knit to the last five stitches, stopping short of the end of the row, hence the name of this technique. I'm going to wrap a stitch, turn, and purl back. To wrap the next stitch, you bring the yarn forward, slip the stitch from the left needle to the right, take the yarn back, and replace the slipped stitch. This wraps the working yarn around the base of the stitch. Then we turn the work and purl back. You'll need to follow the directions in the pattern to know where to stop each row and how many rows to include in your short rowing. The process is completed by knitting a final row across all the stitches knitting in the wrap with the stitch, and this will close up this little gap here. To knit in the wrap, take the tip of the right hand needle under the wrap, knit the stitch, and then bring it through the wrap, which is the same as pulling the wrap over. Complete the row. The gap is closed and the wrap is nearly indetectable.